Indeed, and look at those beautiful eyes. He's just looking up into the trees right now. I'm trying to see what he's staring at, but I can't actually. Oh, big yawn. Good morning, little one. Has it been a long night? Now, I know Ali says I've got a bromance with Tama, but how can you not have a bit of a love for a cat that looks like that? He is so pretty, and he just seems to have such a character about him. I always like his sort of intriguing look and the way that he, everything he has to analyze and has to see what it is. Now, Rusty's being naughty and trying to slide back down the bank, so there might be a little bit of a jerk on the car as I, there we go, that's better. So I just pulled the handbrake up to make sure. Now, he's watching actually some doves that are sitting directly above me. Are they doves or go away birds? No, they're doves that are sitting above me. And that's what he's busy looking at with those longing eyes like I want to go and chase you but that tree is far too flimsy for me to get on the doves are sitting on tiny little spindly branches and so I don't think he's going to be able to get down there oh and an itchy back as well now I don't see any sign of Tundi we came down into this area and I don't think she's actually here I think she's left him again to go off and do her thing and he knows now it's just time to sit in this area but isn't this cool what an epic way to start the day and a big yawn so Tam Tam you're commenting about how beautiful Tumba's eyes are and you want to know how old he is again well I'm just trying to think now exactly when he was born but it was I think it was about this time last year so he's about a year old now I know some of you will be able to tell me exactly when he was born but I've just drawn a blank I think he was born in July if I remember correctly it may have been a little bit after that but I think July was when he was born so just under a year old now and are you going to show us your backside now okay well this is typical of a little young male leopard so there we go July is correct so he's just under a year old and for a year old leopard he is in perfect condition he's not the biggest. Hosanna was actually, funny enough, bigger at a year old. I think Hosanna was slightly taller than what Tumba is. But Tumba is this is very stocky in comparison. He's got these very wide sort of shoulders, and his forelegs are massive. He's got big, big feet. And it was funny because we were talking about it the other day when we were tracking him. One of the trackers here thought they were tracking Tingana because of the size of his feet. In soft sand, they are massive. They do look like a big male track. So he's got very, very large feet, which is always a sign that these animals will get a little bit bigger. Now, with young male leopards, everybody always says their young male leopard is the biggest and will be the biggest. And I don't think he's going to be as big as somebody like Anderson, but I definitely think he's going to be a very bulky leopard like Mvula and Tingana have both become. They're both quite wide, stocky animals. And I think that's exactly the direction that he's going to head. He reminds me so much of Tandi's first son, Wabayiza. Very similar in the way that they are built. But Wabayiza had a slightly different look to him. He had a very dark black nose and looked a bit more like Mvula. But they were both also stocky, big, beautiful eyes. And both of them quite curious in nature. The interesting thing was that Wabayiza was actually a lot more sort of shy than what Tumba has become and I think it's because Tumba has had a lot more time with vehicles. Wabba Yiza grew up inside Torchwood which is a low density area when it comes to vehicles and really didn't get that much exposure to cars whereas Tumba has grown up in and around Chitwa and therefore has had a lot of exposure to not only vehicles but also people on foot around Chitwa Lodge and that means that he's become a lot more relaxed and you can see look at him he's really not too phased by us at all the fact that a young leopard has turned its back to us completely generally shows that he really isn't stressed by our presence at all which is very cool to see it's nice that we've got a leopard that is in that way so hopefully this is going to be a leopard that's going to spend a lot of time around our area So Lauren from Illinois, Chantal, just correct me if I'm wrong, if I get this wrong, but I think you said, do I know who Tumba's sister is that died? I think that's what you said, Chantal. Is that right? Uh, suspected dad. Oh, okay, sorry. I misheard that completely. I'm down in the dip here and it's a little bit scratchy, the comms that I get. But um, the suspected father for, for this leopard is Tingana. That's who we think it is. Of course, it could also be, funny enough, quarantine which would be weird but there's also Shivambalana that was in that area so Tandi was in that whole section with Shivambalana, um, quarantine and 
Tingana. Now, quarantine wasn't that dominant a year ago, so more than likely it would be Tingana or Shivambalana that are the parents for, or the dad for this. Now, that begs the question, if it's Shivambalana or quarantine, that would actually mean that he's been a little bit of incest because remember Tangi is Karula's firstborn and then Shivambalana and Quarantine came after that from Karula as well so it was basically like brothers mating with sisters which is not ideal the thing is though is that even if that has happened you will find a situation where those males or females um, that have bred have had different fathers and so hopefully there's slight genetic differences there but it does happen from time to time where you will get a bit of incest or inbreeding it just means that there wasn't a big male that pushed out that particular youngster or the female has shifted so far from her natal territory that she's then being put in the lineup with other males that have come from her mother so it is possible but more than likely more than anybody I would imagine it's Tingana he was the one that was seen mating very frequently with Tandi around the time that would work out for Tamba so in my opinion it would be Tingana now I'm going to try and get a position that I don't have to look at Tumba's backside as much as we like it. It's written to be better if we look at his face. And so while we reposition, I believe Ali has got a beautiful view of the golden orb as it rises over the eastern boundary.